Welcome replay viewers. We are doing this scope again. I recorded it a few minutes ago, but it turned out the microphone was not working on my phone. So we're doing the iPad now. Here's what we're doing. We're playing a game called Math Dice Junior. It's a mental math game. And I believe that it's very important that we incorporate math into our daily lives with our families like we do reading. And so this is a game that we just purchased for mental math, which is a very important uh, math skill for kids to have. And we're going to demonstrate how you play this game. And we're going to see how we're going to use addition, multiplication, and subtraction in the game. So Alexander, it starts with the youngest. So you roll the big die. It's a 12. Oh, hi, Anne-Marie. Say hi to Anne-Marie. Hi. Alexander, say hi. Hi. All right. So we start by rolling the 12-sided die. Can you roll that over here, please? All right. And it's a 5. So we roll the 5 first. Now we roll these five other dice. And we try to see as fast as we can how many different ways you can get five using addition, subtraction. So don't do it yet because we want to show everybody. Addition, subtraction, or multiplication. Now, we've been playing it for a few minutes and the kids have gotten very good at it. But we're going to first just demonstrate it here. So move your hands away for a second. Okay, so Emily and Alexander are on a team. How would you get five? Two plus three. Two plus three. Very good. And is there any other way to get five? There's no other way to get five. So, Emily and Alexander are green, so they're going up two spots. Now the next person gets to roll. Emily, you can roll next. Go ahead, roll the 12-sided die. Let's see what our total needs to be. Ooh, it's a 12. Now Alexander's gonna roll Whoa. the five, six-sided, oh, careful. The five, the five, six-sided die. And let's see how we can get 12 using addition, subtraction, and multiplication. You get more points for the number, more dice that you use. And the more creative you are, the better you can be. Um, oh, so we have two, 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 and a three. So how can we move your hands up so we can see, please? How can we get 12? Okay, so two plus two is four. Four plus two is six. Four plus two is Hmm, this is a tricky one. Tricky. Here. If we had four, this would work. Ooh, perfectly. do we have a four though? What about the two plus two? Two plus two is four. Wait, two plus two, two is four. four. Two plus two, so four plus two is six. Wait. If we have the two, two plus two, which is four, can we do any multiplication to get twelve? Multiplication by four. Yeah, multiplication by four. Four times three. Four times three, so show me how we could do that. It's two plus two, two. is four, right. and, and four, four times, times three, three is 12. twelve. So pull those, we can use those three dice. So we get three points because we use three dice. Right here. All right, and then we're left with just a two and the two, so there's no other way to make 12. We're gonna play this one more time. Here we go, I'm gonna roll the dice this time, and we're looking for a total of seven. All right, and now I'm gonna roll this, and now we're gonna see how fast we can go to get seven using addition, subtraction, or multiplication. Okay, four plus three. Four plus three. Um. Now, what if we just for this here? What if we change this here? How can we get? Assume. How can we get seven now? Oh, I, I, Emily, I can do it. Um. Nine minus two. So it's five plus four is. Nine. Nine. Minus two is seven. Excellent. So as you can see here, we are just doing a little family math literacy, and it's done in a fun and engaging way. Do you guys enjoy this game? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is this fun? Yes. So I encourage all of you to spend time with your kids, not only reading, but also doing fun mathematics to build that math literacy. All right, you guys say bye. Bye. Let's check. Oh, you can.